All right, so our next group break of the night is going to be none other than we've got 2020 Gold Rush Autograph 8x10 Multisport Edition Series 2 Dual 10-Pack Case with a prize. That prize being the Mike Tyson Autograph 16x20 from Mike Tyson's Punch-Out JSA Certified. There it is. And again, there's the uh, 8x10 Multisport Series 2. Again, this is going to be dual random hit style, all right? Because again, the 10 pack case means there's 10 8 by 10. So we got two of them. So we got 20 8 by 10s at stake here. And then the prize is going to be random out between all spots at the end of the break. So again, what we're going to do for the Mike Tyson autograph 16 by 20 is at the end of the break, we're going to take our 10 spots. We're going to randomize them five times. Whatever spot is at the one spot, we'll receive the 16 by 20 Mike Tyson autograph Tyson's punch out JSA certified. In the meantime, though, to start the break, what we got to do is we got to take our 10 spots, randomize them five times. From there, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the two cases of the 8x10 Multisport Series 2. As we open up the cases, we'll make a list of all 8x10s that are revealed. Once we do that, we will then randomize the 20 8x10s five times. And from there, we'll match it up 1 through 10 and 11 through 20 so that way every spot in the break will receive two eight by tens and then of course one lucky person will also receive the prize of the mike tyson's uh punch out uh 16 by 20 signed by none other than mike tyson all right so again first thing we gotta do is we gotta go to random.org got just on him three of five hey that's yeah that's cool especially if you're a patriot fan if you're not, well, then you can find someone's a Patriot fan, sell it to them. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. All right, so our names, here they are. Five times. One, two, three, four, and last time, four, five. So Shannon on top, Patrick on bottom, everyone in between. All right, so again, what I'm going to do in the background as I'm revealing the 8 by 10s but first, so as far as the names go, you've got Shannon, then Doug, then Joe, then Shannon, then Pierce at five and six, then Doug at seven, then Robert at eight, Doug at nine, and Patrick at 10. So what I'm going to do is one through 20, I'm going to list the photos in column B, all right? Then once all 28 by 10s are listed, we're going to randomize them over here five times. Then we're going to take one through 10 in column B and put 11 through 20 in column C. So that way, every spot in the break will receive two 8x10s. And then, of course, one person will receive the 16x20 Mike Tyson. All right. Without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? All right. So there we go. So again, you'll have to look at the top right um, to, to see the overhead slot. But again, there it is. It's sealed. All right. So you can see it's sealed there. All right. So here we go. This is the first case. All right, the cover has, you know, like Steph Curry, has Hogan. Um, you've got Mike Tyson. You've got Joe Burrow. you got Judge. you got Jim Brown. I mean, all sorts of great athletes from all different kinds of sports. I don't want to knock over the uh, camera. That'd be bad. There we go. So again, they all come in these. So there you go. the box is empty. You can see there, top right, box is empty. All right. So they all come in these nice packets here. All right. So first one. All right. So first up is going to be none other than kellen winslow all right i guess i'm gonna do this from because it's hard to see so let me do this from this angle so you guys can actually see there you go so first up it's gonna be kellen winslow all right so kellen winslow there hall of fame 95 inscription so Yep, awesome start. Right, I'm just going to stand up so that way you guys can see me open them too. 
Is there a bigger size poster Gold Rush boxes? Uh, what you mean, the bigger size poster? Like, bigger than 16 by 20? I mean, the biggest I've seen that we have that's available in products... I mean, is like, yeah, like in Treasure Chest, you'll have some of those posters that, again, aren't ours. Um, but um, but the 16 by 20s um, uh, are done by us. But the other ones, though, don't come, like, aren't, like, from us, if that makes sense. Uh, this next one, you got Joe Swell. Let me sit back down. Like, earlier in Treasure Chest, when you all saw that T. Higgins, like, that T. Higgins wasn't, like, from, like, well, I mean, I guess none of these are from us, but, like, I haven't seen bigger than 16 by 20, um, other than, like, say, like, that T. Higgins poster we saw earlier, you know, um, you know, that, that come in those, uh, poster containers. Those are, like, the biggest I've seen. Well, that didn't really work. Let's go this way. All right, so you got Kellen Winslow, Joe Sewell. You're right, right. The bigger ones come in the tubes. Yeah, exactly. All right, next up, we're going to have Ernie Holmes. JSA certified Ernie Holmes. Right. Uh, so, so like, a, like rather than treasure chest, like a gold rush product, like this one being eight by ten. If they did like a twenty-four by thirty-six one or something like that. Like, is that what you're saying? Like, they just had like a specific product that was like gold rush twenty-four by thirty-sixes, or something. All right, Chi Town Nathan, you're gonna like this one. You're gonna have Mike Ditka. Mike Ditka. I mean, I can run it by, I can run it by them and see what their thoughts are and see if they have an interest in, you know, doing that. Like, see what their thoughts are on it. Like, cause again, I don't know if maybe that's something they tried like in years past and maybe they didn't think it did as well as like doing like the smaller ones. I mean, I don't know. Never hurts to find out though and ask. All right. You're going to have Earl Campbell. Earl Campbell. Yeah, I can, me I can message them. Right, I mean, to be honest, I prefer the bigger ones too because, I mean, 8x10s are nice, but it's kind of hard. Like, when you when you have them on a wall, like, unless you're, like, right up next to them, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to see them, you know? So, like, me at minimum, like, if I'm, like, in, like, a sports lounge room or whatever that I'm making, I'd want, like, at minimum no smaller than 16x20. But you got Mike Piazza. I mean, unless, of course, like, I'm trying to collect a set that is, like, 8 by 10 and it's, like, a set. And then I can, like, piece together the set, like, side by side by side. Yeah, that pick is in the Astrodome, so it's a very nice one, David. Of Earl Campbell. We got Mike. Piazza. Right, after you, after you mat and frame a 16 by 20. <laughs> Again, this is just the first case. We still have another case to go through. All right, so here is T. Higgins. Now, you all saw the bigger poster version uh, in the treasure chest of this. So there's the 8 by 10 
And then Treasure Chest had the uh, bigger poster version um, of it. Right, yeah, it ends up taking a lot of wall space, for sure. Alright, so T. Higgins. Alright, we've got three more before we get to the next case. Again, after this, we're going to do shoebox. Because, again, gentleman's been so patient waiting. So I said after this, we would do that. Alright, got Paul uh, Kofi. Hall of Fame 2004 inscription. Yeah, that's why me, when I start, like, decorating that type of area and whatnot, like, I'll be very selective on, like, what I get for my, like, 16 by 20s to get, like, matted and all that jazz because it, it adds up quick as far as how much space they all take up. All right, you got Pete Rose sliding in the dirt, face full of dirt. That's a nice photo. Pete Rose... Until your crown bottle runs empty, <laughs> then, then we're in trouble. <laughs> Pete Rose. All right, last one before we get to the second case. All right, we're going to have Angel Cordero Jr. and Lafite Pinka Jr. I know, some horse race in action. Angel Cordero Jr. and Lafite Pinka Jr. The jockeys. Hey, God Slayer, what up? My turkey day was excellent. Again, very grateful that my wife and kids were able to come visit me. Um, so I'm glad that they've been able to be here all week. Um, so it was, it was great. Sadly, they have to leave tomorrow morning. So, you know, this time last week, I was getting all excited because I knew the next day they were they were going to be traveling. And now, of course, here we are a week later, and now it's the exact opposite feelings. <laughs> exact opposite. Jeff finished the new Jeff Dunham special. Nice, I watched that. All right, here's the second case. Again, it's sealed right there. So let me open this up. Uh, I would like to open up cards for myself. I mean, I have. Just I haven't been able to buy any hobby uh, cards. Um, um, but no, I, I do collect. Although, now though, the more I think about it, the more, like, once I get established and I'm able to really, really start getting into the hobby again, um, I'm going to more pursue memorabilia. Um... I mean, I'll still pursue cards again. They come in these. I'll still pursue cards, but I probably won't be like outright buying boxes. Like if there's like a set or like something or like a specific card that I want, then sure. But yeah, I know. But I, I guess it's more so because I'm thinking of like how I'm like I'm gonna I'm gonna decorate certain areas of of my house once we buy a house out here. Um, you got Glenn Rice though with his time with the Lakers. So Glenn Rice during his little stint with the Lakers for a little bit. Um, anything Broncos, um, Spurs, um. There's various players. Anything Jordan, obviously, I would love to have. Kobe Bryant. Uh, I do like LeBron as well. Um, Ken Griffey Jr. Um, uh, as far as baseball goes, for sure. I was always, I was definitely a big Ken Griffey Jr. fan. Um, I mean, Shaquille O'Neal. I always like Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> All right, well, I really hope someone likes horse racing. Because, again... Angel Cordero Jr. and Lafite Pinka Jr. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a there's a I like I I like a lot of like individual players, too too many to name. 
But as far as just flat out teams go, anything Spurs or um, or Broncos are are definitely two teams that like you could get me anything of those two teams, and I would be a happy person. Pool holes, yeah. In your game room, vintage Pokemon. All right, you got Wander Franco. JSA certified. <laughs> I mean, there's players that I like that are on the Chiefs. Alright, you've got Brian DeMullen. There you go, you can see it now. Brian DeMullen. There you go, some hockey love. Like, I also like Charger players, too. And there's some Raider players that I like. I mean, I don't root for them when they play the Broncos. But, like, like I rooted for the Chiefs last year in the Super Bowl. You know this, I've told you this. Like, I rooted for the Chiefs because I was rooting for Andy Reid. And I do like Patrick Mahomes a lot. Like, as far as QBs go right now, because, again, I'm not really sold on Drew Locke because he's not impressing me at all with his most recent play. But, like, man, what I would give to have Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> Bog, appreciate the follow seven minutes ago, by the way. Hey, we got Wisconsin's own number 23 now with the Indianapolis Colts, Jonathan Taylor. <laughs> Unless you're the Red Sox. <laughs> I like that. Unless you're the Red Sox. <laughs> like, like even even you have your limits. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have Hall of Fame 2001 twin killing Bill Mazeroski. So, Bill Mazeroski. Yeah, I hope so. But right now, it just looks like the rivalry that's gonna be good is gonna be Herbert versus Mahomes. Chargers and Chiefs. Until Drew Locke can get his act together, but if Drew Locke doesn't get his act together. I'm telling you, they're not going to wait around much longer. All right, we got three left. All right? No, sorry, four left. This one, after this one, there'll be three left. All right, we got none other than Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice. Alright, next up. Alright, we're going to have T. Higgins, but it's going to be a different one this time. So I'm going to call this T. Higgins Orange. So that way we'll know the difference on this one. So T. Higgins Orange. We'll, we'll be referring to that one. So if you get the T. Higgins Orange, just know... So next to your name, T. Higgins Orange will be referring to this photo. And just T. Higgins, just the name itself, will be referring to the other one that you saw earlier. So that way we'll, we'll keep those two separate. Alright, then you have Hall of Fame 75 for Lenny Moore. Alright, last one. And then again, we'll do the randomization, and then we'll do... Um, uh, we'll do the randomization of the 8x10s, and we'll do the randomization of the names for the Jerry Rice. Alright, well, hopefully someone also likes Joe Sowell. Because you got Joe Sowell 
one more time. All right. So. Just, well, all right, let me take you over to the list. All right, so here's the list. All right, so we had Kenny Winslow, Joe Sewell, Ernie Holmes, Mike Ditka, Earl Campbell, Mike Piazza, T. Higgins, Paul Coffey, uh, or Kofi, uh, Pete Rose, Angel Cordero Jr., and LaFight Pinka Jr., Glenn Rice, then Angel Cordero Jr., and LaFight Pinka Jr., then Wander Franco, Brian DeMolin, Jonathan Taylor, Bill Mazeroski, Jerry Rice, the T. Higgins Orange, the Lenny Moore, and a second Joe Sewell. All right, so with that being said, again, we're going to take these, randomize them five times over here. New list, there we go. All right, five times. One, two, three, four, and last time for five. All right, so now split this one through ten, going from Angel Cordero Jr. with the five Pinka Jr. down to Glenn Rice. And we come over here. And we paste that right there. All right, so again, move this on over, tighten that up. Tighten that up a little bit. All right, so that way, so then we start at 11 with Earl Campbell, down to Wander Franco at 20. All right, so we print that off, read it off. All right, so Shannon, you start us off with the Angel Cadero Jr. and the Fight Pinka Jr. and the Earl Campbell. Then, Doug, you get Joe Sewell and the T. Higgins, the first one that we saw, not the orange one, at least not in that spot. Then, Joe, you get Bill Mazeroski and Joe Sewell. Then, Shannon, so Shannon does end up with both Angel Cadero Jr., Lafitte, uh, Lafitte uh, Pinka Jr., so he ends up with both of those, but the other one you get is Lenny Moore. So you get both Angel Cadero Jr. photos uh, with Lenny Moore and Earl Campbell. Then Pierce, you get Brian DeMolin and Mike Piazza. And then you also get Jonathan Taylor and Paul Coffey, or Kofi. And then Doug, your next spot, you get Mike Ditka and Ernie Holmes. Robert, you get Kellen Winslow and the T. Higgins Orange. Then Doug, your last spot, you get Pete Rose and Jerry Rice. Then Patrick, you get Glenn Rice and Wander Franco. Okay, so now that being said, that's all the 8x10s. All right, so now again, let me show off. JSA certified, here is the Mike Tyson 16x20. All right, so now we're going to randomize all the names five times for that. This break was $89.95 a spot. All right, so let's see here. So back over here, now we're going to take all of our names... All right, so all the names. All right, five times. Whoever's at number one gets the Mike Tyson. Best of luck. One, two, three, four. And the Mike Tyson 16 by 20 goes to Joe D. Joe D with the Mike Tyson. So, Joe, you had gotten the Bill Mazeroski and the Joe Sewell, and you also get... The Mike Tyson. All right, congrats to you. All right, I appreciate y'all filling that break. I'll get down from the site, post up on YouTube. Shoebox coming up next.